Hey everybody, glory to Jesus Christ. I'm trying out a new camera setup for this next book review. This is going to be a prayer book review. And I was trying to find a way to get more of the camera on the book and less of it on me. Since if you're watching a book review video, that's probably what you want to see. So <laughs> let me know how you like this or if you hate it. Um, I've kind of got my phone ghetto rigged up to a bunch of stuff using twine, believe it or not, but we do what we have to do to get the good shots. So this is the Holy Transfiguration Monastery Prayer Book. It's an Orthodox prayer book. It's nice hand size, not really pocket size. It's a little bit too big for that, but it's definitely not as big as you would expect something like a Bible to be either. So this is uh, when I bring a prayer book into the prison versus just my Bible, this is usually the one that I bring. And there's several reasons for that. Um, first off, just look at this. It's beautiful. It's a delight for the eyes. And I know that shouldn't, that shouldn't necessarily be a reason to purchase a prayer book, but it does help because if you enjoy using it, if you, you have nice thick paper and you have the beautiful color printing, it, it can help you on those days when maybe you need a little bit of extra help. So anyway, this is a prayer book for Orthodox Christians, obviously. And this has all of the immediate prayer helps that you might need from day to day. So, for example, let's just show you the contents, right? So you got your morning prayers, your daytime prayers, you got your Compline, you got all your major, major, blah, 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 major services, major texts for those surfaces. Of course, this isn't something that you're going to use for uh, finding, you know, different canons and stuff like that, but it is a help. It's better than nothing, and it is nice and small. And this was also, by the way, extremely affordable. I forget how much I paid for this because I bought it about seven or eight years ago, but I think it was about $20, which is not bad at all. And just like everything Holy Transfiguration Monastery publishes, it has these beautiful, the red frames with the etchings here and with the very clear type, which is also something that I appreciate. And of course, you're going to see candle wax on this book, any Orthodox prayer book. Usually, if, you, if it's been used for a while, you're going to have the wax stains on it. So you'll see what I've done here is I've just made some tabs. And this is for the Trisagion prayers because I, you know, you need to flip back and forth between whatever service you're praying and these prayers constantly. And especially if I'm a little bit distracted or overtired and I'm, you know, in the prison at night and I just, my brain is gone, I, I like to be able to remember where they are so I can read them, even though, of course, I haven't memorized. But sometimes my memory, she ain't so good. So I would definitely recommend this if you don't have an Orthodox prayer book yet. It's quite lovely. If you are not Orthodox, there's a lot of this that is not going to make sense to you. You're going to hear... Um, you're going to read, rather, references to things like Troparia and Kentakia and Prochemenons and Akathis, and you're not going to know what any of that means, and that's fine. Uh, I still have a lot of questions about it myself, so uh, that's not a reason not to buy this. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about this? There's, okay, there's one thing I don't like, and it's very minor. It probably wouldn't even be truly accurate to say that I don't like it. It's just slightly ungainly, in my personal opinion. And that is that the translation is a little bit different than what I am personally used to. Holy Transfiguration is a Greek monastery. They're in Massachusetts, but they tend to follow the Greek practice. So that means that there are some words and some things that have been translated from the Greek into English that the Slavs will do a little bit differently or say a little bit differently. So, for example, some of the prayers... I find them slightly ungainly, and that's emphasis on the slightly. It's just because I'm not used to them at all. But you know what? When you have uh, a situation like that, you can use that, glory to God, to make sure that you're really paying attention to what you're reading and to what you're seeing, which is always good because anytime you pray anything that is a, a part of a, a formal prayer rule, you know, when you have the book open in front of you, if you've done it for a while, it can be extremely easy to kind of zone out and say the words with your with your mouth, but not with your heart. And that, of course, is simply wasting time. So, glory to God for that uh, slight kick in the pants every time I have a word coming that I don't expect. I can say, all right, well, I wasn't paying enough attention. Let's get back on the program here. So, this is available. This is published by Holy Transfiguration. You can get it at most of the Orthodox bookstores in the U.S. You can get it from Light and Life. 
Conciliar Press. You can get it from St. Vladimir's, St. Tikhon's. Uh, it's probably also available on Amazon. So if you're looking for uh, either another Orthodox prayer book or if you're new to Orthodoxy and you are looking, you know, maybe you've met a prisoner who's Orthodox and you want to kind of know where they're coming from, I would highly uh, recommend this. Now, because this is a hardcover volume, as you can see, it's extremely durable. I have a little bit of corner wear going on here, but that's just because this thing goes with me everywhere. It's always in my bag. Uh, you cannot, though at least in most prisons and most jails, you cannot send an inmate a hardcover book yourself. You have to have it sent from either the publisher or from an established bookstore like Amazon or BarnesandNoble.com. So be aware of that. If you want to send them a softcover prayer book, you're going to need, uh, I would recommend the one from St. Tikhon's. It's black. It's very thin and it just has the hours in it and the, uh, the typica service and then there's a second one that has the divine liturgy and the pre-sanctified liturgy in it so in a prison system unless there are many orthodox inmates and you're actually doing a, a liturgy of some type uh i would just get the hours in the typica uh that one is um it's published by saint Tikhon's. it's a black glossy cover and it was edited by sergey arkhipov so um, check that one out if you don't already have it okay so that's about all i have to say regarding this you can see look at my crazy notes I've got all of my notes, all of my books have notes in them everywhere and highlighting and stuff. And it's almost a shame to uh, do that with this volume because it is so beautiful. And I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to use pencil, you know, so I can erase it if, if I need to. But this is just, it's a marvelous volume. I would really urge you if you're interested in just reading some of the prayers of the church to, to get this, um, Look at this. This is the Akathis hymn to our sweetest Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, just just look at this. The paper is heavy. It's crisp. It's creamy. This just looks like something that has that weight of holy tradition behind it. And, of course, it does. And, of course, it shouldn't matter how it looks. But it is truly beautiful. And I think that's okay to ha have a beautiful publication that reflects the beauty of the church and the beauty of the Lord, who is the creator of all beauty. So uh, I think that that is definitely a positive thing when it is... Uh, within our capability to buy a beautiful book like this. So anyway, I hope you like this. God bless you all. Please continue to subscribe, share, send smoke signals, um, you know, give me some sky writing up in the sky. Do whatever it is you need to do to get at me. Send messages, comments. I may miss comments. I miss a lot of them sometimes just because they're, I'm getting to have more and more of them now, which is awesome. But sometimes having only 24 hours in a day, it doesn't happen. So if there's something super, super serious you want me to respond to, or if you just, you know, want to say, hey, howdy, shoot me a message. And please do pray for me. I will always be praying for you guys. And thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. And I really hope that you, if you don't have this thing, pick it up. It's definitely going to be an asset in your spiritual library. So until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.